Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can group data in Power Query. And my goal is going to be to recreate something that looks a bit like a pivot table like this, where I've got sales grouped by store and sales. Rep. And so to do this, I'm going to go over to my, my data tab here, which has the same information. I'm going to create the Power Query connection. To do that, I'm going to go to the data tab and select from table or range and Excel automatically detects the table. So I'm just gonna hit okay and launch into my, my Power Query window. Once in here, I see the exact same, same data. Now, if I wanna group this, I just use the group by button up here. And from here, I'll get options as to what I wanna group by and if I wanna do any calculations. So if I wanna group by um, the, the same sort of setup that I had, I'm going to start with grouping by the salesperson. And then you'll notice here, I can create another column that has, you know, a sum, average, median, min, max calculation, whatever I want. So for example, if I wanted to sum the total sales, I could call this new column total sales, hit OK. And now I've got a breakdown of sales by the different sales reps. So this is kind of close to what I wanted, um, but I just need the breakdown by uh, <clears throat> by store as well. The one thing I'm gonna show you though, is if I click on this gear icon, I can modify uh, these groupings that I made here. So instead of sum, I can also do an average, median, min, or a max. I can just count the number of rows, distinct rows. And if, it's like, if I select all rows, what this is gonna do, I'm just gonna change this name to say all rows what this is actually going to do is nest all those fields within here. So basically that table is saved. So everything for this particular app is embedded within here. So this can be useful if, you know, you want to hide these fields or, or use or expand these this table later on um, as you're doing this. And if you wanted to, there's this option here to click this icon and then you can select you know, that you want to select all these, uh, all these columns again, it's basically going to expand it right back out. So in this case, it doesn't make sense to do that. I just wanted to show you, um, what you can do with, with grouping, um, grouping rows in, in Power Query. So I'm going to adjust this step and I'm not going to do the all rows. Instead, I'm going to use the total sales because that probably makes a lot more sense, especially if I want to summarize this in terms of in terms of sales. So I'll go back to calling this total sales. And what I'm gonna do is click click the advanced option here, which is gonna allow me to add another grouping. And so if I click on this, now I can sort or group by, by store as well. I'm gonna hit okay. And now you see, now I've got that sort of layout where I've got salesperson and store and total sales. The only other thing I may wanna do now is to make it similar as what I had before, is to sort this as well. So I'll sort this in ascending order and then sort this in ascending order. So I've got rep A at the beginning and then I've got the different stores as well. So this gets me pretty close to the to the pivot table layout that I had before where my main goal is, is showing these different um, different totals by sales rep and, and store. And so that's a quick overview of how to group data in Power Query. Hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.